So what's so special about a building that's been sitting here for 30 years collecting dust? Well, you just gotta look up. Montreal is one of the oldest cities in Canada, and it's got the buildings to prove it. Now, some of them are just old, but others have been abandoned for ages, hiding their own mysteries, if you know where to look. And one abandoned building in particular is home to just about the most unexpected thing you'll ever see in Montreal. Walking down the Lachine Canal in the summer is great. Lots of space for a picnic and long bike lanes by the water. The Lachine Canal has tons of very interesting views, but none have been more captivating than this abandoned building right here. This silo was built in 1905, and the reason it was built was to store barley for beer. But almost a hundred years later, it was abandoned. And ever since then, it's just been sitting here, collecting dust in St. Henry as a wallpaper, a backdrop to the people just biking through the canal. Its age definitely shows. I mean, the architecture is crumbling. There's graffiti all over the place. There's pieces of metal hanging on the sides. But the good thing is we don't need to go inside. What we're looking for is somewhere else. So what's so special about a building that's been sitting here for 30 years collecting dust? Well, you just gotta look up. Someone got the idea to climb to the top of this thing. and They got creative. Now, it's hard to get the best view from down here, mainly because the sun is so bright. So what we're gonna have to do is get up close in person. Now, it doesn't take a genius to see that this place is not up to any recent safety codes. So no, I'm not gonna be climbing this place now or ever. And I can't believe I have to say this, but please don't go climbing a hundred year old abandoned buildings. It's not a good idea. We've got a drone to do the dirty work. So let's set it up and send it off. Let's go up. Higher, higher. There it is. A bright pink house, fully decked out with green curtains, flower pots. There's even a red shed next door. The reason this has captivated so many people in Montreal, no one knows whose work this is. Like a local Banksy, the flashy penthouse just sort of appeared one day. Seriously, I must have asked over a dozen people, including people that work in the area here, where this pink house came from and no one seems to know a damn thing. Absolutely wild. Just in the time that I was standing here filming this video, four people came up to me asking me if I knew what the pink house was. And unfortunately, despite my best efforts, hours of research, I haven't found a shred of information at all. And in December, people reported seeing a Christmas tree up there too. Whether it's the latest piece by a local artist or just some bored adrenaline junkie, one thing's for sure, it's unlike anything else in Montreal. The next time you're on the Lachine Canal in St. Henry, keep an eye out for this unique pink house. There are tons of hidden places like this pink house spread across Montreal. All you have to do is remember to look up every once in a while. All right, that's it for this week, but I will see you next time with another hidden place in Montreal that you're gonna wanna know about. See you then.